Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to account for personal expenses that have been paid for with business funds. And we're going to do that by reconciling the transaction in Zero's bank account feed. Now I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company for this video, but the principle is pretty similar all around the world. So you can get value out of this video no matter where you are. And if you'd like to learn more about Zero, then please check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so what we're going to learn about in this video is how to reconcile or account for personal expenses that you've paid for with your business's money. And the way we're going to do it in this video is that we're going to reconcile the transaction that's come through in the bank account feed. Now to do these reconciliations, you can use either a director's loan account or an owner drawings account. And the one that you use will depend on the type of business that you have. So if you've got a company, you would probably use a director's loan account. If you've got any other type of business, then you would most likely use an owner's drawing account. So the overall goal here is to have a credit in the cash at bank account, which will be on the balance sheet and a debit in the owner drawings account, which will also be on the balance sheet. And there should be nothing that goes to the profit and loss statement. And in this video, I'm going to pick out a specific transaction as an example, but I'll just point out that you can do this for all kinds of personal expenses that you pay for with your business's money. Okay, so let's go into zero now and we'll see how this is done. All right, so over here in Zero's demo company, what we're going to do is just go into the business bank account and we're just going to pretend that one of the transactions over here in the spent column is actually a personal expense. So if we just scroll down, we'll find something appropriate. So let's just say this Cooper Street Bakery expense here for $15.75, that's money that we've spent out of our business bank account, which is why it's come up through this uh, bank feed here in zero. But let's just say that that was actually really um, a personal expense. So that was food uh, that we should have paid for personally. Maybe we just accidentally used our business card, for example. So all you need to do is just come over here and create a spend money transaction. So I'll just put in a name here. So you can either put in the Cooper Street Bakery name or you could put in your own name um, of the owner if you like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I've just put in the Cooper Street Bakery as the name there. Now this bit here is crucial. You need to choose the right general ledger code and the one that you want to choose further down here somewhere is the uh, owner drawings account, that one there. So if we just choose that, that's uh, the uh, balance sheet account that we're going to use to show that we're drawing money out of the business. And then down here, you can just put in a description as well. So I'll just pop something in there. Okay, so I've just put in there personal food paid for by the business. So just put in whatever you like there. Now I can go ahead and click on okay and reconcile this now if I like, but I'll just go in and show you uh, some more things if you click on add details. And we'll just scroll down a bit. So this is the whole transaction here. And you can see it's got the details that we put in there. So you can also put in a reference number if you need to. You can attach a file if you've got a receipt or something um, that you want to attach to this transaction, you can go ahead and upload it here. Also, if you need to put in more than one line, you can go through here and do a multi-line transaction if you like. I've just got the one line, so that's fine. And then basically you can just check the rest of it and just make sure it's okay. So when you're finished, you can save the transaction and then you can click on reconcile here and I'll just scroll back up. So it was on the 27th of August, I believe. So you can see that one's out of the feed now. It's been reconciled. So I'll just show you a couple of things. So if, if I just duplicate the screen and I'll just go into the chart of accounts and into the liabilities tab. So I'll just show you where that account was down here, owner A drawings. There's another one down here, owner funds introduced. So that's if you're actually putting your own personal money into the business. We're taking money out of the business. So this is the account that we used and I'll just click into it. 
and just show you how it's set up. So it's a current liability and you've got a name there that you can change if you like. It doesn't have to say owner A drawings. It's BAS excluded because it's outside of GST law. And then down here, it's a good idea to check that box there for enable payments to this account. And that means that you can use this account kind of like a bank account um, if you need to actually allocate payments to it. So I just wanted to show you this just in case you actually need to set this account up um, in your own uh, zero file. These are the settings that you can use. All right, I'll just cancel out of there and we'll duplicate again. And we'll go into the balance sheet. Okay, and I'll run it as of today's date. Okay, so there's the business bank account down here. If I click on that and we just scroll down a bit, I think the date was the 27th of August that we had that transaction. So here it is here, 27th of August, Cooper Street Bakery, 1575. And you can see that's in the credit column over here. Okay, so that's the credit. Now, if I just go back And then we just scroll down a bit to the owner drawings account here, 1575, click into it. And we can see here the 1575 debit. So we've seen the debit side and the credit side, both of them going to the balance sheet, nothing going to the profit and loss account. Okay, so that's how you can get a transaction in your business bank feed here that you paid for with your business money and you can reconcile it as a spend money transaction to the drawings account and then both the debit and credit side end up in the right place um, over on the balance sheet and then nothing ends up in your profit and loss account which is the correct way to do it.